Christy with Off the Grid Streets. We are gonna be doing some laundry today. We did a short intro video for Off the Grid Laundry, just kind of letting you guys see what we do and how we do laundry. But we wanted to break it down and kind of give you an exact how-to of exactly what we do. So um, the first thing that I do is I come in here and I divide everything up. For me, it makes it easier. It feels less overwhelming to have it all broken up into groups. And also I like to see who wore the most clothes in the last two weeks. So um, I break them up into my clothes, Mark's clothes, Tristan's clothes, and Tegan's clothes. And then I also have towels uh, and big items like sweaters and jeans and pants. takes about three to four sometimes five hours to get it all done and dry and put away but that's part of living off the grid so who won who won I'm a little ashamed to say I think I might have won the laundry contest here I think I that's my pile there's Mark's pile I've been doing good, but not this, not this past two weeks. Um, so today's laundry day. Part of our water system is uh, two 55 gallon drums. That's how we're actually getting our water right now. We're working on upgrading to a close to a two, 3000 gallon tank. Right now we use a RV pump style shuts off the 55 psi type of uh, pump for the water basically hose runs in pull the water that's actually what feeds the washer and dryer but yeah so this is our water supply um, we also are pulling the 300 watts up on the roof which is supplying power um, over here is a introduction into our solar system um, so basically what we're running is the Harbor Freight 100 watt kit, two Renji 100 watt kits, and a 750-1500 watt um, inverter. Two black box Trojan uh, six volt batteries. Um, this is our 300 watt setup we are adding as we need. Um, we're seeing right now our 300 watt can run the washer at the same time as the fridge. We also have some computer charging inside. Um, some miscellaneous, you know, lights and stuff. So that's basically what we can run all at once on 300 watts. Uh, 500 is kind of our goal. Uh, but right now, 300 watts does great. Um, does everything we need it to do. Now, with the power that we have, Mama Bear here does her laundry. Uses about 50 gallons, roughly, for everything. So you can figure 50 gallons for every two weeks worth of laundry. That's two times a month, roughly. So. 100 gallons a month for laundry so it's not too terrible when you're getting it for 25 cents for 26 gallons all right so it's time to start washing so inside the house we divided it up into groups now going into the laundry machine here as you can see the tub is fairly small but it will do 8 to 11 pounds of laundry so we break the small groups of laundry that we already broke up into even smaller groups of laundry depending on how large the pieces of clothing are, how thick and heavy they are, how heavy they're gonna be once they absorb water. We're gonna start with Tegan's clothes here. But I think we can probably wash all of Tegan's stuff together. So as you can see on our washing machine here, we got this off Amazon, by the way. We, we sold our, our washer and dryer at home and this was only $99. And we purchased it with the money that we got from our washer and dryer. So we're gonna make sure it's not on drain so that when we're filling it up, we're not <laughs> losing water. Cause that happened, that happened to me a lot in the very beginning. I would start the load and I would forget that. All right, so we're gonna fill it up. So when we were using this still living on the grid, cause we did buy this prior to going off the grid in preparation, I'd fill this thing up to right about here at this line, this line here. Almost full, basically. Give it plenty of water. Now that we're off the grid, we're conserving and we're seeing that we can get our clothes clean with less water still. They're coming out feeling cleaner. It's pretty amazing, actually, how well the machine cleans. So I think we estimated that it's about five gallons of laundry per load that we're using. Some maybe a little more, so five to seven, depending on if you're doing towels or heavy rugs. 
All right, so we got it filled up, we added our soap, and we're gonna go ahead and start the load. So we just kinda turn our timer here, and it'll get going. gallons to fill it up for the first wash and it's going to be another about five gallons for the rinse. You can see they're still dripping even if I had to if I rang H1 out they would still be dripping wet this machine came with a spin dryer which has worked amazingly well and we've been using this now for uh, three months doing our laundry family of four and it's still working wonderfully and we just go ahead and turn this timer I turn it all the way and actually this load because it's really small thin pieces of clothing now we'll only need to that helps tremendously with the dry time because we've got the water uh, spinning out right now, so it helps a lot. And you'll see here in a minute how dry they come out. All right, so they are done, and I'll show you how I mean, they come out basically dry. And you just hang them in the sun, and they dry very, very quickly. So we'll hang dry them. So because we do hang dry our clothes, and even with running our washing machine on solar power, we do have to be strategic about the day that we do our laundry. This is what he does all day, every day. He probably couldn't be happier. I just wanted to point out that you don't have to go without a washing machine. You don't have to hand wash your clothes if you go off the grid. As long as you prepare, meaning you do the research, how much solar power, or how much power, whether you're gonna use a generator or a solar power system, how much power do you need to run whatever machine it is that you choose? And um, how are you gonna dry your clothes? Do the research, think ahead, prepare, 